might be a Photoshop user or maybe an After Effects user and you're used to using something called the Levels effect. Now we've looked at something very similar in the Fast Color Corrector and overall I would counsel you to use that or one of these other bits and pieces to deal with the levels and changing levels and getting your dynamic ranges or your brightness ranges sorted out. That's a really good way of working. However, there is a levels effect that ships with Premiere Pro, but as you'll see in a moment, it's quite limited and it really isn't very easy to use. So let's just turn off the RGB curves, get back to the original, and let's find the levels effect. It's not in a very obvious place, so I'm just going to clear out what's in here. And you'd have thought you would have gone to video effects, and you'd have thought you'd go to color correction. Color correction, you would hope it would be in there, but there's no levels effect in there. So if we type levels at the top here, you'll soon find that levels is under the adjust category. And we've got one that called auto levels, and we've got levels. So I'm going to make sure my footage is selected, which it is, and double click levels to apply it, and then go to my effects controls. And the initial thing you look at is you think, oh my goodness, look at that. That is just a long list of items. So we've got 0 and 255 for our ranges, and we've got our gamma controls here, and we've got input and output, and it's extremely difficult to use if you want to work this way. You can work this way, but as you see, it's a really complex way of working. There is also a dialog box. So if you click this little icon here, it says there's a setup box, and you think, oh great, that's going to be a lot easier to use, but it's not particularly easy to use. So if I click on that, you'll see that I've got my levels controls that I'm used to seeing, but look, I've got this tiny little image to work with. And if I try and see if it will grow at all, I can't go to the corners, I can't expand it. So I can go in and change, and I do have access to the red, the green, the blue, and the overall RGB channels. So this is very much like RGB curves in actual fact. So I can pull this in and say, well, I want to increase the darks. Um, that's increasing the darks up a bit. I've got no feedback notice down here on my graph and I pull the whites up a bit so that looks a little bit better and I can perhaps change the contrast make it a little bit darker notice by the way that when you work with the levels effect pulling the gamma slider it works in exactly the opposite way that it does with the fast color corrector it's just the nature of the beast um, in fact what it's saying here is if I pull this towards the white slider more pixels become dark therefore it darkens it down but I've got no feedback apart from this tiny little graph here and then when I click OK then it brings it in and I can see well have I done a good job clearly not my brights are nothing like high enough so I need to go back in and say OK I need to pull my brights up a lot more and then click OK and I've got a bit of feedback and it's a lot harder to use it is there in case you want to use it and you've even got options to load and save although I have to be honest with you I've never used them because when it comes to Premiere Pro I don't use the levels I use the fast color corrector or I use my RGB curves so I hope you found this useful next up we're going to start looking at how to do a day for night shot